us for this latest update on Jamaica's COVID-19 national response effort. Uh, firstly, Jamaica now has 143 confirmed cases of COVID-19. This follows 18 new additions over the last 24 months, 24 hours, sorry, 24 hours. Of that number, five are males and 13 are females, ranging from four years old to 56 years old. So we have had 18 new additional cases since we announced uh, the last time, over the last 24 hours. The three cases are contacts of a confirmed case. The other 15 are under investigation. And there is some suspicion that a number of them are linked to the call center in Portmore, but we are still investigating. 23 persons have recovered and been discharged. Um, and five persons, unfortunately, have passed as a result of COVID-19. We have now tested some 1,424 samples, including the samples that were tested for severe acute respiratory infection. 143 of that number are confirmed positive, while 1,281 are confirmed negative cases. Of the 143 confirmed cases, uh, to date, 52 are from Alarica, the call center in Portmore, St. Catherine. Just to say that the St. Catherine Health Department is actively following the situation at Alarica and are being provided with the additional support personnel to expedite their contact tracing efforts. Uh, in addition to the St. Catherine Health Department, the KSA, uh, Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation, um, uh, um, area and the Clarendon Health Department are also working to the extent that persons who work at Alarica are located in those parishes and I'll give a, some more detail on that in, in uh, shortly. In terms of, well, maybe I should give the details now, the, of the total number of staff on record at Alarica numbering 787 based on the information we have some four five fifty nine are are from st catherine uh, we have made contact with 447 this is the health team there are some challenges as it relates to 112 of those names because of address is not being correct. Uh, we are over continuing the efforts to locate those individuals. The, their, the, their contacts, meaning the contacts of persons who work and who have been tested at Alarica, we have made contact with an additional 179 of their contacts in the parish. The testing continues uh, we have done 414 interviews and collected samples, and we have done this through the location at Alarica, the Linstead, St. Diego, Old Harbor, and Greater Portmore Health Centers, and that exercise continues. We will continue until we complete uh, the process. We have had 11 persons from the entity out of Clarendon and 10 of their contacts tested. So that means 21 persons have been tested in the parish of Clarendon, one positive uh, so far. In the KSA area, uh, on record, there are 125 that are now being sought. Uh, there are plans to do some tests today, I'm told, between up to 30 tests. There are some challenges as it relates to identifying and reaching these, some of these individuals. And uh, the team on the ground in the three parishes are working and have been working very diligently in an attempt to uh, reach the individuals and to interview them and to collect samples from them. So the work is ongoing. 
So we can say then that m most of the persons who of the 787 staff members have been accounted for, but there are some numbers that we still need to work on because of address discrepancies, telephone discrepancies, and we're working with the management to, to sort those out. I want to just make an appeal to those persons who work with the company to call the Ministry of Health at 888-1LOVE or 876-538-3149. That's 876-538-3149 or 876-538-2780. That's 876-538-2780. And we will make appropriate arrangements to reach to you uh, and to collect samples. Alternately, if you're able to get to one of these health centers, the Linstead, St. Diego, Old Harbor, Greater Portmore health centers, or to the Alarica complex in Portmore. Now we know there's a curfew on, but we're going to make provisions for you to use your ID, your identification. Um, if you have or still have your identification, to be able to reach to one of those locations for samples to be collected. Alternately, and perhaps more conveniently, if you call the number 8881 Love and the other numbers that I've just outlined. 538-3149 or 538-2780, then we will make the appropriate arrangements to reach you. It's very important, given the extent to which we have had positive cases coming out of that call center, it's very important that we reach all employees and, and at least have an opportunity to uh, interview them and certainly to collect samples from them. Our intention is to test everybody. And while we're making progress, we believe our progress will be greatly enhanced if we can get the outreach or the responses from persons who clearly know themselves uh, so that we, we, the health team can do the necessary work to support uh, the, the management of this particular crisis. The Alarica situation is the dominant challenge for us now in the country uh, as it relates to COVID-19 and the response. Uh, it represents for us the, the weak link, if you will, in the arsenal and the, the, the work that we have been doing. It is going to be and is very difficult to reach all those individuals, but even more so to contact trace all the persons that they have come in contact with. And given the extent to which we have had positive tests, it is quite clear uh, that the possibility or the likelihood of spread by one of those individuals to their friends, neighbors, the taxi driver, the restaurant, wherever they go, um, the, the possibility for spread are real, and it is something that we need to take very seriously, hence the measures that have been announced by the government, by the Prime Minister. Uh, so the work continues on that, and again, we urge those persons who know themselves to make themselves available so that we can proceed to do what is needed as we attempt to control the potential threat that this, this situation uh, provides for us. It, it, the, 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 the challenge with Alarica brings into sharp focus the BPO space in general, and I know a lot has been said on this. The Prime Minister announced a new a series of measures yesterday in the Parliament. Um, I just want to update the country from a public health standpoint where we are and what we have done to date as it relates to the BPO um, space island-wide. So there are 68 BPO facilities across the country. 62 inspections were done between March 14th and April 15th. 50 of that 62 passed the inspection in line with the existing Ministry of Health guidelines for workplaces with particular focus on the COVID-19 risks. 
12 of did not meet the criteria and have been provided with work plans to address these issues. Uh, even as we speak, the Ministry of Health continues to monitor and to enhance those guidelines in keeping with what was announced in the Parliament by the Honourable Prime Minister last evening. And uh, the, we're working with the association to the extent that they have their members. They are also working with their members to the extent that other operators are not members of the association. We're also providing or con contacting and working with them in order for them to enhance the, the standards that are required. And as was said before, to the extent that those requirements are not met, then the government will take whatever action is necessary in the public health interests of the workers, but also more generally of the community and of the, the country. So it's important that the protocol be followed and the government is doing what is necessary to ensure that that is the case. In terms of isolation and quarantining, 